Ladies and gentlemen, this is your boy DB Dangerously coming at you once again, as always, with my brothers Dan the Beast Salazar and Rated R Salazar, the Brothers of Destruction. Welcome to episode 36. We got a pose down here. Yeah, uh, uh, this guy over here, he's doing the yeah. five. Uh, <laughs> impromptu pose. I got the, the CM. Oh, oh, oh I, like, I saw you do the corner of my eye. No. I thought you were dropping the double five. No, it's, it's, it's my gimmick, gimmick, bro. It's my gimmick. Speaking of gimmick. <laughs> yeah, I stole your gimmick. Stole I stole my gimmick, really? You know why I stole the gimmick? Because I'm going full on in support of Samoa Joe making his main roster debut. Ah, looking ah. slick, looking sharp. And and injury You're not gonna hurt me. Injury right? kill left and right, baby. <laughs> First he almost killed Tyson Kidd, and now Ooh. he go oh, off it. Mm -hmm. And fired. and now uh, Seth Rollins. Wow. So everybody knows the day after the Rumble, uh, Samoa Joe making his main roster debut. And did injured. we finish our introductions? We say this is episode thirty-six. Yeah. Oh, did we say I it? Did. That's oh, all. Okay. Okay. Episode okay. thirty-six. Samoa Joe versus Seth Rollins. Yeah. Is that what we're gonna call it? <laughs> Damn you, Samoa Joe. <laughs> But yeah, he made the attack and uh, put Seth Rollins on the shelf. We injured his uh, knee, his surgically well, repaired from knee. From what I hear, I just read some good news that supposedly everything's looking good, still on par to make it to Mania. Oh, oh. God, I hope so. So it would be a shame, it would be a damn shame if he had to miss Mania two years in a row. But right now it's looking like they're still going forward. Well, I mean, it's his fault. You, I mean, you make a career out of hurting people. Well, shit, you're going to get hurt now, too. <laughs> okay, Brett. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just, I agree with Brett. I'm just saying. <laughs> so, yes, he is uh, supposedly on par. Uh, I mean, you know, with the re main return. So, hopefully, he uh, can go, f go forward with it. And it'll be Mania. Seth Rollins versus awesome. Triple H. That'd be a good match. Yeah. That'd be a good, good match. match. Samoa Joe looking strong. Yeah. Uh, his Big. main roster debut match uh, was spectacular. Beating uh, Roman Reigns. Two Look. Samoans named Joe in the ring uh, at the same uh, exact time. Joe versus a Samoa uh -oh. Joe. Uh oh. Uh oh. Damn. It's a WWE first. <laughs> I like how he came out to do that contract signing in a suit. Oh, he looked dapper. And, and I read the reason why they did that is they wanted to make him look like a, like an assassin, like Triple H's, oh, okay. how Triple H's cerebral him, assassin, man. that's his hired him, man. Oh. So Joe comes out in the suit, and you're like, you're not going to fuck with me, because he's he's the hired gun. Yeah, the I destroyer. Like I like it. The inevitable Samoa Joe. Yeah. That's the Joe. Triple H was setting that up the whole time. You met your creator, now come meet your destroyer. Yeah. The destroyer, Samoa Joe. Damn it. That was good. So it was great booking. So, do you think it was worth the payoff? I mean, the payoff was worth the not having him at the Rumble, then. I think so. I think so. Yeah. Uh, so we so. didn't even talk about the Rumble, yeah. Right. So, what number Royal thirty, Rumble the big what? letdown, where everyone just ah, yeah, what a <laughs> um, Aside from the Rumble match, AJ Styles and John Cena tore it up. As always, they yeah. these guys are. Oh, yeah. John Cena delivers. Yeah, John, I and mean, he has a few guys that he, he really has chemistry with. I mean, him and CM Punk, mm -hmm. uh, him and Edge before that. Mm -hmm. Him and The Rock. Him, yeah, and now... They deliver. Uh, twice, twice in a lifetime. Twice in a lifetime. Yeah. <laughs> Never yeah. happened again. And uh, and <laughs> now him and AJ Styles, man, they've already had... This was, I think, their third, third round match. Their third match. And all three of them, I mean, progressively got better. It's, it's like, how could you beat SummerSlam? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I like, like how cool. Cena comes out, and he's, he's starting to almost embrace... A little bit of a heel turn. His his promos are a little bit more heelish. Yeah. His attitude's a little bit more heelish. I like it. I, I want to I want to see it progress. But I don't know if the Make a Wish kids will like that because I mean they, you know he's super but, Cena. But I but mean not only that though his in ring. I mean it seems like AJ Styles pulls out the best in him. Oh, yeah. oh he's yeah. pulling off it's moves. Like wearing a glove. Yeah, he's pulling off moves that he doesn't normally uh, even try with other guys. Um, and he knows that AJ is the type of guy who can. Take him so they're he's and deliver him and deliver him. Yeah, sad so. thing though on that match, John Cena tied. Oh, man. sad for you. Yeah, sad for me. Man. Man. Nature boy Ric Flair, a feat that I thought would never. If anything, I thought Triple H would do it. Yeah, but I man. didn't think Triple H was gonna do it. John Cena. I mean, uh, trust me, I give it up to John Cena. We like to kid around and you know make fun of him, but John Cena's legit. Yeah. And if the Nature boy Ric Flair can pose with him after with the title and give him those props. It's like he said, no one else deserves it but John Cena. Yeah. 
That's true. Passing the torch. He's probably going to break it. Oh, t- oh well, technically, Flair has 21. Oh, little come time. on. We're, <laughs> going, we're not. We're, not we're, going we're talking not, about recognizing not going that deep. Here. Not the uh, Puerto Rico switch. <laughs> not going that deep here. In my heart, 21. <laughs> so, but Dante, yeah. you still ain't shit. Yeah, you ain't shit. Uh, but, but he's going to break it. Yeah, he will. But uh, uh, the whole Rumble card was great. The women all had fantastic matches. Except um, for. Banks and Jax. Boo. I'm not liking that. I'm not liking that at all. I think they're just trying to find, I mean, they don't really have a great chemistry. I think they're working on it. They're trying to find uh, something there. You know, Nia Jax is a little it too can't, It can't always be Sasha. And, it can't always be Sasha and Charlotte. You no, know? I, I, I know that. I mean, they have good chemistry. They work together. I'd rather see it. Sasha and Blue Pants than to see Sasha and Nia oh, Jax. That's a name we have. Well, you know, I'm just because I did just signed a match, you know. Yeah, but but, um, <laughs> but the women just in general, we got a couple of great matches coming up at the elimination chamber. The elimination chamber. And you know why? Because that's do. SmackDown's women. Smackdown. There's three yeah. women's matches on the card. Yeah, yeah. So that'll be good. Um, Nikki James returning. Whew. We talked about it a little bit last time. Mm-hmm. Man, I can't wait for that hardcore country. Yes, Hardcore country. <laughs> Every time, brother. Every time. Um, but yeah, uh, the Rumble itself. I mean, oh, actually, we can't skip over Kevin Owens and Roman Reigns. Oh, man, that was a great match. For as much as we don't like Roman Owens Reigns. Owens taking that bump on those chairs? Uh, yeah, that was Ugly. Chairs, yeah. Oh, that hurt me. Shit, yeah. I woke up sore the next day. Yeah. Man, and Jericho is a star, of course. Oh, yeah. Sexy pinatas. I love that, the fact that we couldn't even see him when they had tight shots in the match. You can just see the two guys wrestling and hear Kevin! Kevin! <laughs> you know, we got his, uh, his screaming and his. He's almost a show stealer. Yeah, yeah. his total yeah. like animation, and we all know how great Jericho is. Um, and then and now, uh, the Rumble itself. What, I mean, aside, you know, people are going to say the ending was horrible. I mean, it did what they wanted to do. Um, and yes, we got our number 10, Ty Dillinger, that came was awesome. out at number 10. I think anybody else at number 10 would have got booed out of the building. Oh, yeah. Oh, they would have oh, yeah. They would have shit on that like they shit on when Daniel Bryan did not go into the middle yeah. of yeah. the one. They yeah. would shit all over. Yeah. So even, even though he, he lost the night before at the NXT TakeOver, right. he still... Yeah, from what I hear, he's few. actually not done with NXT. That necessarily, it wasn't necessarily his call-up. They just thought... Kind of like when Bo Dallas did we, that one. We have to give the fans mm-hmm. this or they're going to shit on this Rumble. Um, <laughs> that's probably what Vince said in the back. Oh, what a man, they're going to shut all over the rumble. God damn it. Um, so they did that. Um, and then the end, like we said, I mean, you guys know Roman Reigns came out. Uh, I think they got what they wanted out of that. They set up, possibly set up something with uh, The Undertaker, which is a rumored match for Mania. I heard about that. Yeah. Um, they set up the fact that Roman going out would make Orton the automatic baby face, yeah. so Orton's going to get a huge pop for throwing mm-hmm. out Reigns, because if he were to throw on anybody else, it would have just been like, eh, Orton won, yeah. whatever, you know, like, who saw that come in? Like, well, especially after he threw out The Undertaker, holy yeah. shit. Yeah, that was nuts. That's terrible. Um, but yeah, a lot, of good guys, a lot of guys had a lot of good showings. Baron Corbin did yeah. a good showing. The eliminating um, uh, Braun Strowman. Yeah. Braun Strowman yeah. had, had a great, great showing, showing. yeah. yeah. So yeah, yeah this, it seems like they're ready to start moving some guys up to the main event. Status. I like how they did Corbin. Yeah. I like how they, they made him do that, and that, yeah. that was, he looked strong in my eyes, and, and he was kind of floundering to me, and it made him kind of reinvigorate him in yeah. my eyes. And then, yeah. then he gave Sami Zayn a great spot in the oh, Rumble yeah. too, and even Jericho, you know, it's lasting sixty-one <laughs> minutes. Sixty-one minute man. <laughs> Hashtag. Um, and then Sam, you know, like I said, Sami Zayn, phenomenal job. He's always great, but. He did a good job in the Rumble, and it helped, um, I thought, helped progress his character. We'll see where it kind of goes from there. So, Rumble, we talked about Samoa Joe, Monday Night Raw. Mm-hmm. We also have the, uh, what's his name? Uh, Neville. Oh. And Aries kind of starting. Well, to Neville's the new Cruiserweight champion. New Cruiserweight champion. Yeah. Uh, King Neville. <laughs> yeah. King I like it. I, oh, Neville's, yeah. Oh, yeah. He's, yeah. The beard's kind of patchy. Eh, you know, I can't talk there because when I had a beard, it was a Neville. <laughs> Neville-ish. <laughs> no, it wasn't that bad. But, uh, but yeah, heel Neville, Neville is, is woo, intense. Yeah, great match with Rich Swan. They put on a hell of a match. Um, 
Yeah, and supposedly, I don't know if you guys have read the rumors, but yeah, supposedly they're working towards Neville and Ares at Mania, which would be awesome. It's supposed to be like what the Mania match was for Sasha and uh, Charlotte Flair, how that kind of brought up the, the, the division. Don't forget about Becky, don't forget about Becky. I'm just saying, yeah. I'm talking but, about last year's Mania. But yeah, this would be uh, Becky a... Becky was in that. I'm not. I thought you said Bailey. No, <laughs> Becky. I know mean, uh, she did really well. She split from Blake and Murphy. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. <laughs> 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 we went back to a couple of episodes. <laughs> wow. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, they're, they're hoping that this would be like uh, the um, the rocket that straps the cruiserweight division to its back and takes it off. Because it's the a little cruiserweight bit. division is kind of floundering. Yeah. See, it's floundering I've to heard. us, but I heard Vince is extremely happy with it. Yeah. To the oh, point it's where, not floundering to me. It's not. Well, it's not. Yeah. I, like it didn't even break the top ten watch shows on the WWE Network. Right. Last week. I understand Vince is actually having thinking about having them go tour on their own. So I'd go uh, see that. Yeah, I would, but I don't know how successful that would be. With a, a cure to Tozawa, oh, man. Man. and then Tajiri's been cleared again, and I mean, we're getting all these, you know, it's starting to come on up. Yep, plus we ha also have uh, uh, Tyler Bate, he's on NXT now, he has a match against yeah. Trent Seven, Seven next week. Mm -hmm. Woo! Yeah. Stay tuned for that, that's going to be a barn burner, that's yeah. going to be a stiff match. I oh man, guarantee. yeah, oh yeah. Let's talk about that that English strong style. Yeah, that's up there with with your Japanese. Oh, I yeah. mean, it's British strong style. Oh, <laughs> the British strong style. My bad. <laughs> hey man, I'm just letting you know that's what they call British didn't strong I, style. What did I say the last time? The the, the books of Young. <laughs> hey, jeez, this guy. Can't take his age. You got to forgive his me. Age gets to him. You can't take him anywhere. Yeah, that yeah. hat's a little tight. It's, it's, that's exactly that's what it is. That's what you get for stealing my gimmick. Right, man. right. <laughs> <laughs> so, speaking of gimmicks, we have a brand new segment to the show. Yes, yes. Very, this is this guy's brainchild. Yeah. He called me up at like 1230 at, at night. He's like, I got something. Don't you work early too? I know, dude. I just said, woke you up. I said, wake up. I'm like, what? What's it's going on? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, so we're going to debut a new uh, thing. Um, we may not have it on every episode, every couple episodes or whatever, but um, yeah, we're going to call it, it's called uh, Crew Cuts. So we're going to start Oh, with, like yeah. C-R-U-E crew, crew cuts. cuts. Oh. Uh, we're going to spend uh, about 60 or so seconds. It's going to be a short interviews um, with some of our favorite wrestling stars. You know, these guys are busy. They're on the road. Rapid they're, fire questions. You know, they're on the road. They, hit, they wrestle their matches and they want to get back home and make the next town. So we stop them. They're all sweaty and they're trying to make their way back to the thing. We're hey, nice. hey, you get over here. 60 seconds right here. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, we're going to do, uh, like I said, crew cuts. We're going to spend about 60 seconds uh, or so with some of our favorite wrestling stars. We got a good one. Got a good one. I was about to say, so talking about it now, do we have a, a crew cut today? This is going to uh, uh, be our debut right here. We're going to check it out. This is going to be our debut episode of Crew Cuts with the Mr. Athletic, a.k.a. Oh, the Chosen One. Chosen uh, Few, a.k.a. Matanjo. This is our Crew Cuts <laughs> debut with Mr. Athletic, Jeff Cobb. Take it, check it out. Check it out. Hey, what's up, guys? This is Dan the Beast, representing the Ring Crew, of course. And I am here today for our first episode of Crew Cuts. This is where we're going to do about a 60 second or so interview with some of the biggest stars in wrestling today. And we have one of the biggest stars in wrestling right here. As you can see, Mr. Athletic, Jeff Cobb. What's up, man? Welcome, man. Thank you. Oh, yeah, like, big stars, and then we got Jeff. So and, and Jeff. All right. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, man, we got a uh, quick rapid-fire question for you here. All right. So last time we interviewed you, uh, back in November of 2015, you mentioned that you were going to have a monster push in Lucha Underground. Yeah. And you did not disappoint. But. No, I haven't been on TV yet. I, I promised and then oh, I said, oh, oh, right, but right, allegedly. Allegedly, that's true. That's the word of the day. So allegedly, you also have wrestled Rey Mysterio, who you mentioned was one of your, one of your yes. team opponents. What was that like? Um, well, if I ever did wrestle him, um, I would hope to beat him in a Warner Rumble type match with the belt of mine. 
So hopefully one day that will come to and fruition. possibly become champion. Possibly become champion. Yeah, yeah. Very cool. Allegedly. Very cool. So another very cool thing to happen to this past year, uh, you made your debut with PWG. So in a few words, sum up what wrestling or Cena is like. Unfreaking believable. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's one word, but yeah. Un unbelievable. Uh, great atmosphere, great crowd, great card, great matches, great people. Great prices on beer. <laughs> but I'm that's true. So, uh, uh, so also at PWG lately, you team up with Is that going to be something we see going forward? You already have a win over the champs. You guys going to be going for the Well, you know what? They threw us together uh, to help them out for this Vortex, and uh, we happened to beat the Young Bucks. But we beat them. So, but I mean, yeah, you know, they 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 rarely ever lose, and we you know, we uh, took them to uh, Broplex City. So. Last thing, this one is big question. All of our fans are asking. All right. You ready for this? Yeah. What was it like having the Brian Kendrick's thumb go straight up? It was wonderful. <laughs> um, I was very against it at first, but then you know what? If it's good enough for Liger, That's it's good enough for me. And if it's good enough for Riddle and Brian Kendrick and Seth Alexander. Tommy and uh, Pete Dunn, and you know what? If it's good enough for everybody in that match, it's good enough for me. So. All right, well, ladies and gentlemen, this is the very first episode of Two Cuts. Thank you, Mr. Jeff, for joining us. Thank you. See you again. Great group. That's a problem. Not bad at all. You know, uh, <laughs> we had to ask that question. Oh, yeah. If oh, you yeah. don't know what we're talking about, just Google PWG thumbs and butts. Yes. <laughs> Like you said, if it was good for Liger, <laughs> yeah. it's good for anybody. Exactly. Yeah, that was a fun interview, so thanks, Jeff. Uh, we appreciate you doing yeah, that. Yeah, that's awesome. Thank you. Jeff is more. one of our favorite guys. Yeah. He's always wanting to talk to us. He's always wanting to hang out. Um, Puts us over on Instagram. Instagram. That guy's awesome. Puts, yeah. Every time we've ever seen him, he remembers us. Likes to bullshit. Well, who could forget these faces? I mean, we're, I mean look we're at us. Stars. We're gorgeous. <laughs> well, I'm gorgeous at least. Well, yeah. But yeah, thanks yeah. to Jeff. Um, and thanks for watching Crew Cuts. Yeah. Hope you guys like that. We're going to try to keep it going, do as many as we can. Um, we'll squeeze them into our episodes. Um, we do have a couple others in the can, a couple of big names coming up. Mm -hmm. So those will be some fun ones. Got some good ones coming up. Yeah. Um, and some more, hopefully, we'll be able to film real soon um, because we're going to be going, of course, as oh. always, to the best of the West. It's gonna be a big one, Merced, California. Merced, California. Uh, the twenty. No, what's that's the date. No, <laughs> that's uh, what's the date. Uh, that was last. So, uh, so the the twelfth. The twelfth of March. No, February. February. I'm retarded. <laughs> I got, I got, I got March on my brain. That's the pay per view. We'll talk about that in a minute. And uh, you can't say the R word. So. <laughs> I was gonna say that word is being bad. Like. <laughs> You might as well say the F word or the N word. I mean, like, uh, get it all out of the way. It's been a long time. We're just going to keep rolling. Yeah, keep just the Reed crew is not PC sometimes. Yeah. We're sorry. We're, we're sorry. Disclaimer at the end of this. Uh, uh, Ray, I would expect it from Rated R. Right? Yeah, I'm just, yeah, he's still in my gimmick. I'm still yeah, okay. Saying. There we go. So, anyways, back to reality. <laughs> Best of the West this weekend should be a stacked card. I'm a little nervous, though, because our guy, AJ Kirsch, who usually is the host and commentary here, for Best of the West, has another gig. He has to travel, huge. So I will be hosting this weekend. Wow. I'm a little nervous. I got big shoes. Well, you know what? Go. You got us there, and and if ever just picture us naked. Yeah, I do that. I mean, I mean that all the time. <laughs> so it's <laughs> ooh, those aren't apps. Uh, but uh, should be a great card. We have merch available at the merch table. You guys, out you guys can see it. some buttons here. We've been so doing buttons. it anyway on our Instagram. And, we're and none of you folks are reposting it. <laughs> yeah, so we're going to do another one. we got four to choose um, from. If you want some, let us know. We'll, we'll ship them out to you. We're marks for that. We need money. Uh, so the sales of this will bring shirts. You guys want shirts? We got one sale. We got one sale. We got one sale so far. So uh, check us out at the merch table. Uh, and this leads, this, uh, this card is going to lead right into the pay-per-view next month next month March. in march the first 
Sunday in March. The first Sunday in March, I pay per view at the fight at the VFW, at the VFW in here in Fresno, Fresno California. California. No, 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 no. The venue oh, has changed. The venue, the has, venue changed. has changed. The That's breaking right. news. We forgot. Breaking news. Right. So we will be Tell us where we are, Big Dave. at the University Tomahawk. Hotel. 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 <laughs> we'll be at the University Hotel in the ballroom. Wow. We're going balls out wow. in the ballroom. That's so some ECW type shit yeah. right there, baby. So yeah. and as we reported last time, Ring of Honor superstar Leo Rush will be making nice. his debut. Very nice. Uh, someone else was supposed to make a debut, but they're not gonna come. But we might have some other people coming. Don't you worry about that. Come join sure. us. Come, come sit with us. us. Come have a beer with us. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be fun. There's going to be a lot of superstars. We're giving you enough time, Belmar Bill. Yeah. Help a fly, man. Come and join <laughs> us, buddy. And we're going to be live, though. <laughs> yeah. We'll it's not going to be a tape show. We are going to be live on, on pay-per-view. On the fight. On the fight app. On the fight app. Live in living color. Yes. Wow. I hear the fight app. We can't cuss. Uh, well, audience members can. Yeah. I mean, I'm not going to say... Coming down the fucking aisle. <laughs> I mean, if this was old school, maybe. Uh, some retarded guy. <laughs> <laughs> if this is the Strutter's days, maybe. But uh, yeah. we've uh, turned a new leaf. And also, man, family we're on friendly, the road. Family friendly. We're on the road to WrestleMania. Yes. Slowly but surely, we got uh, Elimination Chamber. We got Fast Lane. And we got, we got Mania. Mania. We got NXT. We got the Hall of Fame. It's going to be We got awesome. some bacon wrapped chili poppers. We got some. Oh, yeah. We got some food coming on. I'm hungry now. Let's do it now. Right now? Let's right now. Let's just right. stop. We're Let's stop the show. Michael Coleslaw? Stop the show. <laughs> this guy Go in the kitchen. Makes the best <laughs> Michael Coleslaw. <laughs> it's a thing of beauty. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, stay tuned. We got a lot of stuff going on. We got a couple interviews coming up. Elimination Chambers this weekend, too. Yeah. This Sunday. Yeah, this so, Sunday. so, we're going to go best of West Saturday and Elimination, Elimination Chambers for Sunday. Sunday. Are we going to see a new champion in the chamber? Does Cena lose his 16th already? Ooh, I think so. I'm hoping so. I'm I hoping think so. he's going to lose it to Bray Wyatt. And that's going to set up Bray Wyatt. Bray Randy Orton. versus Randy. Mania. And I also oh, think yeah. that, uh, you know. Where does Luke Harper fit into all this? I was just going to say. Where I does think. Eric Rowan fit into all this? Oh, Did you see his cryptic tweet? Yes. Where, where does that? Sister Abigail fit into all this? I read something about Sister Abigail. Oh, where's probably Peach? making it. Hmm? <laughs> Just saying. I heard she's preggos. No. Oh, God. God. That's what I hear. She's I don't know. She's not pregnant? Mm -hmm. Alberto Rio didn't. Uh, no. She yeah. told me. She called. I called she, her. You know, she said no. It's yeah. not true. Cool. Thank you. God. Everyone making up their rumors a bunch of wankers. Yeah. Bunch yeah. of wankers. Bunch of wankers. <laughs> So, also, uh, who else is, uh, there's going to be two women's matches? Three right? women's matches. Three, Three women's matches. Three. Bella versus Natalia. Which should be a decent match. Oh, yeah. They've been sitting That's there really, really, really nice. Yeah. You got Mickey James, James, Mickey James versus, uh, versus uh, Becky, Lynch. Becky Lynch. And, and you for got... the title, Alexa Bliss putting the title on the line. I think this is her first title opportunity versus Naomi. Why? Why not? She's great. She's feel, feeling the glow. Feeling the glow. She glows in the dark and kicks high. This guy. I'm just saying. Have you seen her lately wrestle her match? Her match she's has been great. Progressing. Mm. I think she's been great. Mm. I think she deserves it. I think it's about time. She's been for the company, what, five, six years? Yeah. If 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 she can do the Funkasaurus gimmick, she deserves it. Yeah, time. exactly. Will she be the first African American women's champion if she wins? Uh, Smackdown Women's Champion. Smackdown, Smackdown Women's but Champion, but I mean, Alicia like, Fox was the. Alicia Fox. She was a Divas Champion. Divas Champion. Divas Champion. Divas well, Champion. there was Jazz, and there was. Oh, uh, Jacqueline. Jacqueline. That's right. Sasha Banks. Sasha, Sasha Banks. Banks. Come on, this guy. Uh, Smackdown first. Smackdown Women first. Smackdown Women. Anyway, I was talking about. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> so yeah, great. As always, great wrestling coming up. Yeah. We're, we're and we're looking excited. forward to it. It's moving fast, and we're moving right along with it. We always say the wrestling move. World moves fast, and it is so true. And this guy is going to be doing a little, you know, he's got the new job coming up, so we might not see him as much. We're going to try to do it at least once a month. We're just going to come over with the banner and the camera. We don't care. Yeah, we'll yeah. do it at your house. You called me at 1230. We're coming over at 1230. <laughs> Didn't we have someone uh, on Instagram talking about the ring crew wearing some suspenders and a mask? Oh, why did we not talk did, about Did this? somebody... We have a brand. How could we forget? Right. Pardon us. We got so much on the mind. Jeez. I can't. I don't, I don't know my dates as yeah. far as just the West goes, 
But as you know, if you've been following us on our social media, we have a brand new field reporter. His name is El Nacador. El Nacador! Straight from El Salvador. Straight El Nacador. From Sick. El Salvador. El Nacador. He I love has it. I love some it. yellow suspenders. Kicking he in has, the door. He has yep. the, the bomb mask, the black and mustard mask. It's awesome. People think it's Nut Nut Johnson. I don't see it. I don't see it at all. Similarities, I guess. Maybe that looks a great guy, but he's kind of squarish. Yeah, but I don't know. <laughs> you know what? He's a busy man. He's a busy man. That man is roughing all up and down the state. And I have it on good authority that El Nucador will be in the locker room of Virgil Flynn Productions this weekend. Whoa. And I also have it on good authority Whoa. that Nut Nut Johnson is refereeing. So how can people say it's the same person? Right. When they're going to be at the same place at the same time. We have, will have photographic evidence for you people that doubt us. Just because a man has suspenders means they're the same person? Yeah. I don't think so. Some bald white dude wearing a ring crew shirt is not going to be David Ingram. <laughs> oh, I would probably would say, hey, Dave! Yeah. Like, that's not me. <laughs> so we're going to prove you doubters wrong. Uh, El Nacador is awesome. He is... He's going to be our field reporter. He's going to be our field reporter. reporter. He's going to do the hard-hitting interviews. We can't be everywhere. We can't be everywhere. Yeah, there's, we're only three men, you know. So El Nacador is going to do our heavy lifting. Yeah, so stay tuned for those. We might uh, filter in some interviews like our uh, ring crew cuts. So uh, stay tuned for that. And, and we're doing a contest right now. If you guys are watching this, giving away buttons. We're going to do on. another giveaway because this one kind of... Kind of filtered out a little bit. See, Dix didn't do what I said to do on Instagram. Make sure you, you like us, follow us, repost us, hashtag us, and you win these buttons and you'll be crucified, baby. Who doesn't want free stuff? Right? I want free stuff. It was just an Instagram. I actually haven't even gotten any of these buttons. He doesn't. He Take doesn't. Them, really? I'm taking this. I'm taking them. We have four designs. If you've been following us on our Instagram, Facebook, uh, they're on there. Uh, we're going to do... Right now we're doing the Instagram exclusive. I think we're going to do a Facebook exclusive. Mm -hmm. Why the hell not? Why not? We'll do it on Twitter. We'll do it on FarmersOnly.com. <laughs> we're everywhere. Yeah. We're everywhere. So stay tuned. we got a lot of stuff coming up. WrestleMania season. Best of the West season. Ring Crew season. Wrestling season. It's the greatest season of all. Forget about Christmas and all that. Yeah. Yeah. No, this is our season right here. Stay tuned. And as always, do what you do, but whatever you do. Don't mess with the crew. We will see you guys next time.